Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, CCX here. Welcome back to more Grandia. In the last episode, we end up traversing through the Dom Ruiz and finding the Gina Maid, or Ghana Maid, or whatever the maid is when he wants to be called nowadays. And now in this part, we're actually going to continue on and get some plot. Because we've been needing some plot. But first, I kind of want to go ahead and get rid of the items that we kind of don't really need anymore. Like, uh, this, and this, and, uh, that, uh, this, that, that. Uh, we, we don't really need a bunch of these guys, like, seriously. Also, I think the stash is infinite, but don't quote me on that. I could be totally wrong, and I can, you know, like, for the most part, I've been wrong for a lot of things, but... Yeah, don't quote me on that and say and think that it's actually probably not whatever. But, eh, I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and get that armor on us, shall we? Alright. Surprisingly strong. Yeah, I really doubt it. We'll just sell that. Anyways, moving on. Because after fighting that enemy, uh, that was kind of a very pathetic enemy. Room of Illusion. And enjoy more cutscenes. the orb of confusion <laughs> we're gonna all be confused gather around boys yo what's up Oh, my game froze. There is no one in this world who would interfere with the blessings of the spirits. Or with our civilization, which began together with this spirit light. Our civilization began to spread far and wide. Angelo became prosperous enough to cover even the farthest reaches of the land. This building that you are in now is also from that period. Go east, Justin. The place called Alent is a place far from here. You still have a very long way to travel. East? From here? Pretty soon we'll reach the end of the world, Liete. Tell me, please. Just where is this Alint? There is no such thing as the end of the world, Justin. You know, I kind of like that because it's kind of, you know, the end of the world for this game is kind of like the world is flat. It's not. It's round. I mean, come on, guys. It's the fucking Earth. Why the hell would this place be flat? I mean, yeah, the planes that we've been walking on kind of do look like a flat texture, but that's besides the point. Long story short, we got to go up the end of the world, and I have to say that it's a very, very big moment. When we go through that. Yeah, do you guys really think that the game is just going to end on the end of the world? Nah, man, we going over that wall. Oh my god, we're crossing the border. Fuck! Anyways, Alain is waiting. Let's get going. Oh my god, that's terrible. Ah, uh, boy. Alright, so, um... Yeah. Let's get out of here. I wish that the game could just teleport us out, but I guess that would be too nice now, wouldn't it? Like, no, I'm actually being totally serious. I kind of wish that I can't do that. Also, get used to that with the game not really, um, taking, um, bringing you back to Pacific area. Like, when you get to, like, certain new areas, you got to go all the way back. Yeah, get used to that, because you're going to be doing that a lot. And that's kind of one thing I don't like about, uh... What the hell is the point of that? Oh, whatever. Anyways, that's kind of one thing I don't like about Grandia. 
is that there's no backtracking, no easy, no easy backtracking. I mean, it's not too, not too bad it, for this part because you know it's not a big area, and most of the time, most dungeons you're gonna be, except for the secret dungeons, obviously. For the most part, you're gonna have to um, deal with very minimum backtracking. So maybe me complaining is kind of not really that worth it. So just ignore me. Actually, yeah, you know what? Just just completely ignore me. It's fine. Oh yeah, another thing. Every time you go through a new area, especially if you're going backwards, be sure to always click the L2 button because what what will happen is is that the game will always turn the return the compass back. So yeah, just be warned by that. Another wonderful save point. I don't know why I recover there. I don't really need to. I just gotta be sure. Gotta be alive, you know? Gotta be alive and kicking. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and cross a lent. I mean, cross the end of the world and end up finding, you know, the place that we're supposed to be looking for. I'm also going the wrong way. Can you tell I hate this place? I don't like the, I, I, I don't like video games that end up saying, hey, we want you to backtrack because, you know, there's a possible chance that you may die and have to do all in all all this over again but you want to know something you're not that's never gonna happen I guess me backtracking I guess what I could go ahead and start saying is that there's not a lot of Grandia games there's like only like four there's this one Grandia Extreme Grandia 2 and Grandia 3 that's really about it it's not really a lot but this series this series is it, I, will, I don't want to say it's overrated. There's also Grandia Online for some reason, which, all right, whatever. Um, it's underrated for the most part, only because not a lot of people know about it. And I don't really blame them. Hell, I don't even know how my brother even found out about this game, to be honest. All I knew is that when I picked it up and played it, I really just didn't... Really, Fina? Anyways, as I was saying, um, yeah, so I don't really know as to how my brother even got this game in the first place. I would want to say that as far as his, um, best friend probably gave it to him, and then he just decided to just play it. And, of course, we couldn't beat it because, to be honest, this game was, it was very different for his time. Like, the battle system was weird. It was not really that, it wasn't really that understandable for, for the most part. Like, after a while, I did... Okay. Where the hell am I going? I don't know anymore. Alright, moving on. Anyways, like, you know... And then when I end up picking up the game... At first, I kind of didn't really understand what I was doing... Because me being a little child, I never could comprehend anything in an RPG. Hell, I didn't even understand what the hell I was doing in Chrono Trigger when I first played it. I was like, what is this game and what the hell is the purpose of it? It's like, it's a game. Thank you. What else does it do? <laughs> what else does it do aside from being a game? It's a game. All right, thanks. Uh, but yeah... And then when I end up starting this game up, and I played it for the first time, it was one of the only few games that I can literally say for, for myself that I use. Now, here's the thing. This is kind of my reason as to why I'm more of a vis visual learner than a reader, a reading learner. I need visual, and I had the guide to this game. And what I did was, I never really made, I never really knew what the hell the game was telling me to do in terms of words. I just followed the freaking, um, I'm gonna take some damage here. Uh, I just basically just looked at the pictures. It's like, okay, so I'm supposed to, so if I'm here, that means I'm going the right direction. Yeah, I was a very, I, I don't like reading at all. Like, I really don't. 
I mean, it, it's not one of my favorite. Well, actually, I'm going to say I don't like math. Math is my most hated subject, but reading, I, I don't know. I, right For right now, I do enjoy reading now. But when I was young, I never liked reading at all. Like, reading, I despised. I just normally just looked at pictures for the most part. Now, I know most people say that you can't really always learn from, visual, from visuals, but half of the time, I mostly do learn better with visual than I do learn from, um, from reading half the time. Oh, I, I was gonna say, like... Oh, that's just how we do that. Eh, I don't know. Hey, be okay, all right? So don't worry. We'll find some way to get over it. Justin, don't tell me you don't know. I swear, you'd be lost without me. That's Justin for you. Maybe we should stroll on back to New Parham and get prepared for this. Yes. Let's go. I really hope we don't run into anybody. You know, some people that are named the GA. Gangsta Army? Yeah, sure, the Gangsta Army. We're gonna meet the Gangsta Army. What's up, gangsters? We are the G A R Y L. Probably spelling their names wrong, but who cares? <laughs> oh, man. Nah, we're not gonna run into anybody. Yes? <sighs> oh, no! What in the world? It's one of those little boys. He's unconscious. All right, we find ourselves the Grandia Summoner. Uh, oh good, he's coming too. He isn't an animal. He looks so human. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what happens. And he's just passed out again. Wow, you seem very okay from him, but eh, whatever. By the way, they're actually going the wrong direction. Look, Saki, look, Mio. There's a trail of blood. Okay, everyone, halt! Humanoid search unit, stop here! That's strange. My calculations show that anyone with a wound like that shouldn't be able to travel so far. Nana, a bit short of common sense, she says standing watch is boring, so she wanted to buy makeup while on duty. Why do I buy makeup in this place? Nana, I'll still be your friend, even if you get kicked out of the forces. You guys are so obs obstinate. Obscene. Whatever, moving on. You guys are dumb, this is all I'm trying to say. What shall we do, Mio? That humanoid we caught is valuable. We gotta find it. Hmm, but even so. I know, let's use four search hounds. If we stick to my plan, it should work perfectly. Excellent idea, Mio. Better way to track a beast than un with another. Let's get back to the base and get ready. Attention, humanoid search unit. About face, back to our frontline base. By the way, I love how they clip through the entire forest, and wow. Cartoon transitions, anyone? All right, whatever. I'm not, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ignore that. That was dumb. <laughs> uh, well, you see, Fina, he's not a regular human. You can't give him regular medicine. You gotta give him non-human medicine. <laughs> Sulfa weed. Hey, don't give up. Let's go looking for it. Uh, all right. Backtracking. I mean, padding. Ah, uh, boy. Yeah, you guys know what we're doing, right? We're gonna have. We have a padding mission. Anyways, guys, I'm actually gonna end the part here because the last episode was pretty long, but I don't want to make this one long. I will see you guys next time when we go ahead and go help that little humanoid. And yeah, see us.